Okay, this is going to be one of my shortest videos on record. This is to show you how to convert an outline to an object so that you can reshape the ends of a satin outline to a point. So here we go. We need to choose an outline and let's choose satin. And let's go up to the object properties and just make it fairly wide. Oh. Um, we need to go to outline stitch and satin width. We're going to make this five So it's a really wide one so you can see exactly what I'm doing and apply that okay and let's just choose our open object tool and Let's go right clicking around. So we've got a nice little quick swirl here and enter Okay, so you can see that we've got a satin line and it's got blunt ends and people want to make these ends um, nice and pointy. So let's just, oh, before I do that I'm going to get rid of this so that we don't get confused. So I'm going to auto start at the first stitch and the last stitch. Okay, that's better. Now, um, what we're going to do is create a little object a closed object and with a fill just ordinary step fill and just create yourself a little stamp enter okay that's going to be your tool select it drag it over the end of your line and then um, select the remove overlaps tool okay now when we move that out of the way. Now when we select this object, instead of it being a line, it's now an object with width. So I, I'm just going to undo, I should have shown you before we started. So this is now an object with nodes on either side. I'll zoom in to show you that. Okay, the nodes are on either side of the object not running through the middle. There is a line running through the middle but that's um, part of the um, underlay and um, the embroidery process. This is the important part. Your actual shape lines are on the outside. Okay, now if I undo to before I did the stamping you can see that your nodes are now running through the middle so if I move this, this is this is your node line. So if I enter, that will actually change the shape of the line. Um, let's zoom out to one to one. Okay, so if I move the node, it will change the shape of the line when I press enter in the way the path the line takes, but it won't actually change the width. Okay, now I've got my stamp tool here. I have to redo. Um, no, because I've done a few reshapes, so redoing won't cut it. I'll have to select this one, get my select tool and select my stamp and remove overlaps. And now I can delete my stamp and select the object, the line, and go to the reshape tool. And I'm going to zoom in here at the end and you can see I've got these nodes on either side so I can now reshape the actual end of the line and I can bring it to a point. Now I might want to go a little bit longer and just check that your um, angle lines are nice as well so I might like to turn this angle line a little bit back a bit so that I keep it going across evenly. Press enter and now I've got a nice point on my satin line. Now I don't have to stamp the other end if I go back to one to one. I don't have to stamp the other end because once I stamped one end I've turned the line into an object so both ends have nodes on either side. So let's zoom in there. Okay and I've got a bit of confusion here because of the start and end points but I I'll just zoom in a bit more so that I can actually grab that node. Hopefully I'll be able to grab the node. Yes, good. And bring that down and grab the other node and bring that into a point. 
Now my angle line's in a weird position. I want to bring the... Oh, it's not going to let me move it. Okay, let's just get it across that way. Ah, it's gone now. You might have to just fiddle with your angle lines. Then press enter. And we've got our start points jumped up there. That one's the start of the actual embroidery, so that's okay. That's the underlay first. Let's go one to one. Okay, go back to our select tool and go to our artistic view. There it is. And there we have a lovely pointed satin line. So I hope you have fun doing that and I hope that helps out with some of the issues you've been having. Thank you.